Students here in Bullock County start school on August 9th. That's a week from Wednesday, and today they picked up their Chromebooks. Educators say it helps streamline the learning process. A long line of students and parents wrapped around Bullet East High School on Monday. That's why I told them, I said, we got to get here early. Steve Holskinek brought his twin daughters, Diana and Christina, to pick up their Chromebooks before the start of their seventh grade year. The girls say having their own laptops this year will be a big improvement. And you don't have to share a computer. Chromebooks are laptops that connect wirelessly to the internet to use applications like Google Classroom, where students can access their work. So we can like send stuff to our teachers and not have to like log into all this stuff and like if your internet doesn't work correctly, it's much more helpful. Educators are hoping the computers will help increase student engagement, productivity, and organization. They love it because they don't have to worry about, I forgot my assignment at school. They've always got it with them. They can hop onto the internet, see what their assignment is, complete it online, and be ready the next day. Bullitt County High School students got the laptops last year, and the principal of Bullitt East High School says they proved to be cost effective. We were able to last year uh, not spend as much money on paper because it cut back on the number of copies that, that teachers made because they could just make a PDF file, download that particular worksheet or resource that they were using in class to their Chromebooks and so we didn't have to make as many copies. The students will also be able to access some of their textbooks online. Sixth grade, fifth grade, y'all had uh, math books online and it was great because they didn't have to worry about bringing their books home and then we could go online and see what their homework was. So that'll help tremendously get them prepared for the future. Gianna Caserta, WLKY News.